हेलो विद्यार्थी मित्रों कशा आहत मै से पठान जब्बार खान युअर फिजिक्स टीचर आतापर्यत मी तुम्हारा तीन वीडियो सेंड के लिए पा एंड एक्चुअली पा आवर फर्स्ट चैप्टर ऑफ फिजिक्स इज द यूनिट्स एंड मेजरमेंट एंड अप टू सीस्टीम ऑफ यूनिट्स वी हैव फंडामेंटल क्वांटिटीज देन डिराइव क्वांटिटीज व्हाट इज यूनिट हे आपण आतापर्यंत सगळं पाहिलेलं आहे पा नाउ टुडे वी हॅव टू डिस्कस अबाउट द सिस्टीम ऑफ युनिट्स बिफोर गोइंग टू एक्झॅक्ट सिस्टीम ऑफ युनिट्स वी हॅव अ फंडामेंटल क्वांटिटीज देर आर सेवन बेस फंडामेंटल क्वांटिटीज देर आर टू सप्लिमेंटरी फिजिकल क्वांटिटीज देर आर सो मेनी और इन्फनाईट नंबर ऑफ डिराइव्ह फिजिकल क्वांटिटीज Uh, before going to detail about the system of units what is exact system of units means what how many system we have to use we'll see before going to that system of units we have to see the some basic concepts related with the fundamental physical quantities and derived physical quantities we have a fundamental physical quantities then automatically we have a fundamental units so what is fundamental units look here fundamental fundamental unit so what is the definition actually we have seven basic fundamental quantities then two supplementary fundamental quantities actually they are fundamental supplementaries are fundamental okay but there is a difference between fundamental quantities and supplementary quantities and that difference is related with the dimensions we will see that if we have a very important article in units and measurement that article is used for your means your level standard exams as well as your all competitive exams so at that time whenever we have to start that dimensions and dimensional analysis then that time we will see the difference between the fundamental or your basic fundamental quantities and supplementary physical quantities okay before going to that uh, we have a fundamental unit so what is fundamental unit the unit the unit is used for is used for measurement of fundamental physical quantities the unit is used for measurement of a fundamental physical quantities it's called as the fundamental unit look here so what is fundamental unit that is the mass what is mass mass is a fundamental quantity so what is the fundamental unit fundamental that is si base unit we we'll see that kilogram so what is kilogram the symbol is kg symbol is kg so what is the mass is a fundamental quantity what is the kilogram that is the fundamental unit so the unit is used for measurement of a fundamental physical quantities then length second one is a length length so what is length is a fundamental physical quantity the unit is a meter the unit is a meter symbol is m then electric current electric current what is fundamental unit it's a ampere symbol is capital a then etc then we have a luminous intensity we have amount of substance mole candela then we have a temperature okay these are the seven fundamental quantities so we have a seven fundamental unit plus two supplementary units okay so this is about the fundamental unit the unit is used for measurement of a fundamental physical quantity write down okay now what is derived unit what is a derived unit 
look here. What is derived unit? The unit. The unit is used for measurement measurement of a derived physical quantities. So this is the derived unit. The unit is used for measurement of a derived physical quantity. Tell me the examples of derived quantities. Yes? Yes. First one is the velocity. That is the meter per second. Second one is the force. The unit is Newton. The symbol is capital N. Then work. Work. The unit is Joule. Symbol is capital J. Then power. Then so many. We have so many derived quantities. So we have so many derived unit. The unit is used for measurement of a derived physical quantities. Okay. So this is about the fundamental unit and that is about the derived unit. Okay. So write down this one fundamental unit and second one is the derived unit. Get my points? So this is about the fundamental unit and derived unit. Okay. Now, today's our article is the system of units. System. You know system. System is the System of units. Look here the definition. The complete set. The complete set. Units of a, both of the fundamental and derived units. It's called as a, it's called system of units or the fundamental units together with the all derived units forms the system of units. So in system of units, we have to measure the fundamental units as well as derived unit. What is unit? Yes, the standard is used for measurement of a physical quantities is called as a unit. We have two units, fundamental unit and derived unit. We have to want to measure the fundamental unit and derived unit. Actually, actually, sometimes we have to use very small units. Suppose we have to want to the mass of a gold that time we have to use the unit gram. Then we have to want to measure the distance between two cities. Then we have to use the kilometer, not a meter or not a centimeter. That time, suppose you have to draw the diagram in your notebook, the length take in a, the length taken in a meter or centimeter, centimeter. So far, there are the large units model chest. There are the small units more HST. So we have to necessary, we have we are going to system of units. Okay. So what is the definition of system of units? The complete set units of the both fundamental and derived units. It's called as the system of units. Okay. I think tomorrow up to 10 standard, you know about the system of units. So how many systems of units? Yes. Anybody? There are three actually pa the old system of units side pa. There are three system of units. So first one is the pa look here system of units. That is the British system. British engineering system in British European countries UK this system used Katapa that is the British engineering system and it's such a, the name of that system is a F P S this is the first system F P S F P S okay so what is F what is P and what is S look here 
For F, F means foot. It is related with the line. It is related with the line. So in UK or in Britain, Britain, whenever they want to measure the length, they measure length in foot. You know, one meter means how much foot? That is the 3.3 feet. Okay. Exactly to 3.298 or something I found. So 3.3 foot I. Then one foot is equal to how much centimeter? 30 centimeter. 30 centimeter. So length measure in foot in UK. Then mass. This is related with the mass. Mass measure in pound. Mass measure in pound. Apply kada suddha khub divas, khub divas. A system use kelipa, that is the FPS. Atta bhi, ik lahan bala se, just born to bala se pa. The mass measure in pound. Very important. It is denoted by LB. Pound. What is actually we have to measure the mass in kilogram. Upon mass kilogram made mosto. So we should know the relation, we must know the what is the relation between mass and pound. So look here for your convenience, 1 kg is equal to 2.2 lb or 1 pound is equal to 4.53 gram or 1 lb sorry lb lb or 1 lb is equal to 0 0.453 kilogram means approximately half kg approximately approximately 1 pound 8 pound yes upon karta in 1 kg is equal to 2.2 lb then 1 lb 1 lb is equal to 1 divided by 2 whenever you calculate this 1 lb 1 lb is equal to 0 0.453 kg okay this is about the relation between mass and pound okay खुब महत्व से है पाप, खुब महत्व से है। तुम्हारे कन्वर्ट करा, for your homework, what about the 5.5 lb? 5.5 lb means how much kg? Then 11 lb means how much kg? Or 20 lb is equal to how much kg? This is your homework. Okay, look here, homework. This is your homework. 5.5 lb means how much kg? 11 lb means 11 pound means how much kg? 20 pound means how much kg? So in that system, mass measure in pound. Then in second, the time measure in second. So this is the, your first system to measure the fundamental. Look here, length, then mass, then time, then time are the fundamental fundamental or basic or basic fundamental physical quantities related with the mechanics related with the mechanics so this is about the first system that is the british engineering system he system said that discard hai apan system use kar nahi now Second system to measure the small physical quantities. Okay, look here. That is the second system is a CGS system. Look here. CGS. CGS. Now this is related with the length. This is related with the mass and this is related with the time. This is related with the time. Okay. So C for centimeter. Centimeter. 
नोटबुक मध्य डायग्राम काटीमीटर Or the distance between the Earth and Moon, uh, between the Sun and Sun and Moon and other planets, that is not in a centimeter. That time you have to use other system. Okay, so that is the centimeter. Then mass measure in gram. Mass measure in gram. Again, time measure in second. Okay, so this is the small system. CGS. Third one. First one is FPS. So. First system is FPS. Second one is CGS. Number one, number two. Okay, this is one. FPS. Second one is CGS. Again here, again here. You have to measure again three basic fundamental physical quantity. That is the length, mass, and time. The common one is CGS. Made it FPS. Made it. And the next one is the MKS. मोस्ट फेवरेट सिस्टीम सी सीस्टीम सदरवाइज यूज दिस सीस्टीम ओके दट इज दिलेटेड विथ दिथ दिस इज रिलेटेड विथ द मास एंड दिस इज रिलेटेड विथ द टाइम सो लेंथ मेजर इन मीटर ओके अलवेज वी हेव टू यूज अलवेज वी हेव टू मेजर लेंथ इन मीटर मैक्सिम टाइम मैक्सिम टाइम डेली लाइफ मध्य You are all conventions of related with the length in meter. You ask that shopkeeper, give me a two meter clock, four meter clock, two meter, five meter. You have to cover the distance in meter. You have to convert in kilometer for maximum time. Ne mark that is the length measure in meter. Then time, then mass measure in kilogram. Then then mass measure in किलोग्राम बरबर है ना दिस इज फेवरेट सिस्टीम ऑलवेज ऑलवेज तुम्ही बाजारात गेला दुकानात गेला यू आस्क दैट शॉपकीपर गिव मी अ 1 केजी शुगर 1 5 केजी ऑयल व्हाटएवर कैन व्हाटएवर यू हैव टू वांट ओके तुम्ही बाजारात गेला तर किलो मध्येच मोजता सगळं सगळं तुम्ही किलोग्राम मध्येच मोजता सो दिस इज द मोस्ट फेवरेट सिस्टीम ओके देन टाइम मेजर इन सेकंड ओके One thing is common in all system that time is measured in a second. Okay, time measured in second. That again one thing is common in all system. This system is used to measure only three physical quantities. That is the length, mass, and time. Okay, but we have we have so many physical quantities. We have two supplementary. We have an infinite number of derivable quantities. Suppose we have to want, or we have a remaining four remaining four remaining fundamental quantities. We have a four remaining fundamental units, and we have to always want to measure that physical quantities are also. So what to do? Using this system, third one you have MKS. MKS. Suppose you have to want to measure the Current, electric current. Is this system? Is these systems are useful for to measure current? No, there is no. The current not measured in length, not current not measured in mass. Current mass means kilogram. Is it possible to say that one kg electric current? Highly impossible. Or you have to want to measure the luminous intensity. It is possible to measure luminous intensity in feet or foot or centimeter or in meter? No. So suppose we have to want to measure all basic fundamental quantity, and we have to want to measure. So what to do? What to do? Is this these systems are useful for that? No, that all systems are not useful for that. As many systems are there, they use karta hai na nahi ba. Okay, and for scientific conversions or for communication, suppose if ekada. Uh, when research is going on whatever the research is going on in america and they take that such a amount of something suppose they want to measure the mass of that substance and if they measure in pound and in india the measure of measurement of mass in kilogram 
and you know that 1 kg is equal to 2.2 pound okay then the 1 kg mass get upon then conversion is problem we have that is 2.2 pound okay then we have to want to measure the other remaining 60 so what to do so in 1960 there is a science conference is there and in that science conference okay we have we get the very important a system and that system is internationally used all over the world that one system is used and the name of that system is the SI name of the system is a SI that is the system that is the international international d units d units this is the si system so si system is used for to measure the all fundamental physical quantities you have a si base unit of electric current is ampere SI base unit of amount of substance is a mole. SI unit of luminous intensity is a candela. SI units of temperature is a Kelvin. SI unit of force is Newton. SI unit of work is Joule. SI unit of pressure is Pascal. Okay. Okay. Then SI unit of magnetic induction is Tesla or Weber per meter square. So there are so many fundamental as well as derived quantities. So with the help of this system, we have to use, we have to measure that all physical quantity. So, so this system, the SI system is a universally accepted system. Getting my point? So we have, we have now, now, friends, look here, look here. There is a difference between M case and SI. Actually, M case is a length, mass, the length and time also but for a thermodynamics or the physical quantities related with the heat we have actually pa mk unit and si unit of uh, si unit of different physical quantities are same nearly same mk unit of force is newton actually si unit of force is a newton okay but heat the term relate the physical quantities related with the heat heat related jawada quantities are Heat up to 19th century, heat is a form of fluid also. Up to 19th century, the unit of heat is a calorie or kilocalorie. And then up to 19th century, heat is a form of energy. The heat, the unit of heat is a joule. So SI unit, SI unit of heat is a joule. Okay, but MKS unit of heat is a kilo calorie look here kilo calorie and there is a relation between 1 kilo calorie is equal to 4.2 joule the relation i okay so use si system always so how many system we have we have three or four system Actually, all systems are discarded. MK is used. CJS is used. FPS totally in India. Okay? But you can use it. Okay? But you can use it. Mass measuring pound. It's allowed. It's allowed. You have to know the conversions of pound into kilogram. It's more than a sanguine flavor. So, this is all about the system of units, the fundamental units, together with the all derived units for a system of units. Or the complete set, the complete set units of the fundamental units and derived units is called as the system of units. I think to Malamaita So this is all about the system of units. This is a small video related with the fundamental uh, sorry system of units. Our next video is related with the very important video. That is the conventions of SI units. It is very important. The name of that video or that article is the conventions of SI unit. Whenever in this chapter, 
यूनिट्स एंड मेजरमेंट मध्य तुम्हें खूब बेसिक गोष्टी पहाट ऑल थिंग्स आर वेरी इम्पॉर्टंट फॉर युअर इलेवन स्टैंडर्ड एज वेल एज युअर ट्वेल्थ स्टैंडर्ड इट इज यूजफुल फॉर युअर फिजिक्स एज वेल एज केमिस्ट्री एज वेल एज अदर सायसेस सो युनिट्स एंड मेजरमेंट इज अ व्हेरी व्हेरी इम्पॉर्टंट चैप्टर ओके सो तुम्ही काय लिहून घेणार याच्यातून तिथं राईट डाऊन द युनिट नेम डेफिनेशन ऑफ सिस्टीम ऑफ इल्ड देन फोर सिस्टीम एफ पी एस देन दॅट रिलेशन ओके थँक्यू सो मच काही अडचण असेल तर सांगा लेक्चर आवडला असेल तर चॅनलला सबस्क्राईब करा तुमच्या मित्रांना शेअर करा बाकीचे जे तुमचे मित्र असतील त्यांना शेअर करा काही सजेशन्स असतील तर सजेशन्स मला पाठवा ओके okay?